Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another video of ours. It's Friday again. It's match day vlog night. Big, big Dublin derby. The Dublin derby. It's Bohemians at Dalyman Park against Shamrock Rovers. And uh, interesting one this, obviously, from Shamrock Rovers' point of view, seven points clear at the top of the table. If they win, they're 10 points clear. And uh, that'll pretty much do it, I think, for them, to be honest with you. Um, no games in hand or anything like that. Their game in hand will be tonight, so to speak. But uh, yeah, well... You know, with Derry playing as well. Derry playing UCD, actually, aren't they? So you'd expect them to win. But even so, I think it's going to be difficult, I think, for anyone to catch Shamrock Rovers. I think um, you're wanting a closer title race. But we're getting what I expected at the start of the season. Um, they come into the game uh, on a decent bit of form, having won away to draw it in the Cup. And they've got that Europa Conference League uh, group stage to look forward to as well. It's going to be very interesting, actually. Uh, Bohemians, obviously, Keith Long, we were here, weren't we, for his, his last match in charge of Bohemians, and obviously he lost his job. Um, as I said before in other videos, I've watched a lot of Bows in the last few weeks. It's the fifth time I've seen them now in the last three weeks, I'd say. And you could just sense that it wasn't right. I've videos, etc. done on that, guy, so I'm not going to go into detail. But they need a reaction tonight uh, on the pitch. Uh, the players need to really put in a shift, because you're going to have to do that in this league. When you play Shamrock Rovers, if they, you don't put a, put in a shift, you're going to be battered. As simple as that. Um, and they're hoping that the Bowls fans that that's, you know what I mean. They really do put in a shift and at least play for the shirts because I think if they lose and go down swinging, you know the fans won't mind that so much. And you never do. Shamrock Rovers have to fancy themselves here though as well. We've seen snippets of Jack Byrne what he can do against Drogheda until he was taken off. Uh, still not quite ninety minutes in him either. I think Andy Lyons. Eight goals, six assists this season. Unbelievable, to be honest with you. And he comes back to Daily Mount. But, uh, Billy, what's your prediction? Go for it. I don't want to say this, but... Um, since just be Keith, honest. Just whatever you think. Because Keith Long's sacking, I think it's going to be 3-0 Shamrock Rovers. So you think if Keith Long was there, it wouldn't be 3-0 Shamrock Rovers? Um, <laughs> we'll do a little bit better job. Do you think so? Well, I don't know about that. They've been playing quite poor under Keith Long, so I'm not sure. I think uh, the opposite could happen in a sense, but uh, you'd have to fancy Sam Recovers to win this game. Guys, see us in there. Here, lads, Billy said he'd rather go to the Nail Garden for some reason. No, I didn't. Want to go to the Nail Garden, yeah? I wouldn't want to go there. Why not? I don't need one else.
So guys, just back from Daily Man Park, we finished Bohemians 1, Shamrock Rovers nil, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was a very, very spiritual performance by Bowes, I think, um, one they really earned, and they did earn it. Um, when you show that work race, that desire, that teamwork, and that endeavour that Bowes showed tonight, you can get you very far in this league. It's been missing the last few weeks, there's no doubt about it, but it was there in full force tonight. And because of that, I think they deserve to win the game. I do think they outfought Rovers uh, overall. Rovers will be disappointed with their performance, to be honest with you. But Bowes really showed a lot in this game. And um, I thought it was led by James Clark in midfield. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I've seen James a lot of Drotada. And um, that was James. That was Drotada style James Clark tonight. So it was, if you know what I mean. Uh, really led by example in that midfield. And they had a bit of quality with Liam Burke scoring a fantastic finish pass. Alan Manis as well. What a finish. Uh, as I said, Rovers will be disappointed. I think Sean Hoare had a great chance to put them 1-0 up in the second half. Didn't need to be fair. And uh, he scores that. You know, you don't know what happens. But, um, yeah, that's what Bowes fans would have wanted. And they got the three points, which is an extra thing to say, isn't it? An extra thing to get, really. But uh, I was saying going in, if they can put in a performance at least. But to get the three points as well. It's fantastic for them. Rovers, as I said, will be disappointed. Uh, Derry won tonight. There's four points in it again. Uh, I still think Rovers win the league because I think they're the best team in the league, basically. But uh, it does open it up a little bit again. So it leaves, you know, the door ajar for a question, at least. But, um, yeah, great atmosphere in, in Daily Mount in the end there. Um, you know, the Bowles fans, they've had a tough time, let's be honest, lately, uh, with a lot of things going on, uh, coupled with... The results and that so um you know you couldn't be grudged on that tonight that's for sure uh billy enjoyed it billy um, how much did you enjoy it um and um, for a long time i haven't seen those um, actually win a game apart from Lucan, i forgot how much enjoyable it is to win a game were you thinking will you ever see them win again will you ever see them win again um, kind of, yeah. really, really. At least my prediction was wrong and I'm very happy it was. Ah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but guys, we're going to leave it there. The vlog is probably long enough, so subscribe to the channel, hit your bell notification button if you haven't already. Uh, like the video if you like the content. We'll do a review show, so um, you know that will be going into more detail. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.